Brewers have a lead on Ryan Vogelsong and the Pirates 2 nothing. a Scooter Jeanette Homer in the first as a mountain front and we are joined now by the Brewers owner Mark Adonacio. Great to see you boss. Nice to see always you. good to have you here in Milwaukee and uh, we'll spend a few moments with you during this half inning as Chris Carter is ready to lead off. First of all the jacket sweet. Can we get a <laughs> quick. Uh, so we a get quick this show year. off. Of, oh, yeah. Very nice. 2016. 2016 version. That's, I'm guessing you didn't get that off the rack at Marshalls. <laughs> No, it's not your the name rack. In it. it does. <laughs> <laughs> you got a 17 version one. coming. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That looks going to look good with your Allen Edmund shoes, by the way. We put the whole. That's you know I didn't think to bring those shoes. I should have. They're nice with, with the, the logo on them. Oh yeah, that perfect match. <laughs> we got to get you. We'll get you all dressed up for the on deck event. How about that? Nice. Rock's got all the, all the wear. Anyway, so besides your attire. Um, it was great hearing you today talk about the team and kind of your end of season summary with the media and the print writers. But the f one of the first questions was about Ryan Braun and you're talking a lot about what you've seen from the team this year and Ryan's back in the lineup today. So in your mind what is the headline for you from the ownership perspective of this season and the way it's gone and what's important to you right now as we sit here today. Well taking the last question first with. Um, what we want to see is to finish the season strong and with a lot of energy and uh, I think we'll see that can you can just see how many guys are standing up at the front. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course they're all letting the manager know <laughs> letting Craig Council know hey we care <laughs> <laughs> and we want to play <laughs> <laughs> and we want to play <laughs> right see it never changes from from Little League to the major leagues. right uh, you know and and I've been very very happy with the energy level I've talked about that a lot here what I'm especially happy with is the progress we made this year uh, both as a team and many many individuals we have so many guys uh, frankly starting with the guys at bat here who who uh, you know Chris Carter's got 36 home runs and you know I think his career high is 37 he's right on top of it and um, a couple of strikeouts here and there but you know a lot of big home runs mm -hmm. which right. is important. The young guys, you know, Jonathan VR, or Orlando Garcia, Hernan Perez. Now today, I, I incorrectly said him in the clubhouse, "Hey, Hernan, six positions." He said seven. seven That's right. Yeah, you know. Center field is seven. <laughs> he said he told Craig that if it's uh, they're up 11 runs in the last game, I couldn't tell if he wanted to pitch or catch or maybe do both. Maybe do both, right? <laughs> I think do both. Uh, but Hernan's been, uh, you know, awesome. Uh, and and I think next year they're trying to decide whether. It's so valuable to have a guy like that who yeah, can play sure. every position and play it well. Uh, whether to just try to keep him like that or try to dedicate uh, a particular position or two. Uh, Keon Broxton uh, really made huge strides. A lot right? of great surprises. Um, I mean, you know, Junior Guerra and uh, Zach Davies. Junior Guerra, Zach Davies, uh, Tyler Thornburg right, as right. the closer. Right? right at the start of the season, we were thinking Will Smith. We're thinking, you know, JJ. But Tyler Thornburg is he went through the other game he went through uh, Brian and Rizzo with yeah. winning, winning run at the plate like uh, gutsy saves yeah so um, and I'm sure I'm even forgetting guys as we talk as we talk through this because there's been so much uh, a lot of hope though positive seems like so with yeah. that does good energy a lot of hope in the clubhouse a lot of hope everywhere I think our fans are are hopeful because these guys are you know delivering in a way we had, we had hoped uh, but we we're you know we we're talking about this uh, David will talk about this. Craig talks about this. They still, there's still a lot of work to be done. We made a lot of progress, but we have to keep trying to make progress. You know, I, I know back from when we, I started this journey in 05. We had a great 05. There was a step back in 06, then a step in 07, and a big step in 08. So we, there may not be progress in every year, but we want there to generally be progress. Is it fair to say that uh, you guys feel like you're a little bit ahead of schedule or how do you how do you see where the team is right now where you anticipated they would be when the season started. It was very hard to know it when the season started rock where we were going to be because there were so and in fact we, a bunch of the guys we mentioned today Junior Guerra Zach Davies or non Perez were not on our opening day mm -hmm. roster. Keon Broxton was and then you know had a tough start and went back to the minor leagues. Um, and so we've had a lot of really positive surprises and that really we're all very excited about that because a number of these guys what you're really trying to look for I saw your uh, your truck had the uh, the wild card banner up that we that we want to get back at least to that if not to that 
Central Champions uh, banner. And a bunch of these guys can help us get there. And, and that I wasn't expecting this soon. Perez flies to right. A very quick inning. Can you stay for another half? Yeah, sure. We've got a lot to get into today. So a three up, three down inning. And that's the goal. The wild card in 08, division champs in 2011. More with Mark after this.